Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The question on everybody's minds is, is Chris Perillo pregnant? And the answer could be decided by this instrument. I'm going to guess though the, the answer is likely no. What is this thing? This is a USB ultrasound device. Uh, we use it with our application in order to do ultrasounds and upload those images to the cloud, store them there, and do processing. So wait a minute, ultrasound, you know, that's detecting, you know, whether or not you're pregnant, right? Sure, it can do pregnancies. It can also do a lot of other things such as appendicitis or even kidney stones, gallstones. But this technology has existed for years. What makes this different? It's USB? Sure, yeah, it's USB, and because it is USB, it kind of pulls out all the expensive parts of a, a traditional uh, a traditional approach that has a lot of processing power in it. They put it all in one big box and roll that in a cart that's you know a couple hundred pounds or whatever. Um, we've kind of pushed that all to the cloud to allow us to uh, do more processing and do all the storaging there. So really, the ultrasound device is super simple. Um, you just plug it in through a port and upload it to the cloud. So this is a working prototype, correct? Correct. correct. And do you have jelly? We do. You're not going to gel me up, are you? Not unless you want to. I don't want to. No, okay, so can you demonstrate this without jelly? Sure, sure, we sure can. So uh, it's as simple as either pressing the button on the actual device itself, and uh, it's scanning now, so we can actually do my wrist if, you, if you'd like. Just kind of dig it in there and check it out, and sure enough, uh, there's, there's tissue there. Um, wow. I know. So we can stop it, and we can go ahead and play it back if we want to. Um, and we can look for the frame. Uh, we select the patient in this case, Rob Johnson, that's actually me, and uh, say we're going to upload it to the cloud, we click send. We also have the option to save it locally in case the doctor might not have access to the internet at the current time. Um, Could you email it to the, the, the person who's getting scanned then too, like as a video file? Uh, technically you could, but you in this case you wouldn't really need to um, because we uploaded to the cloud and we, we allow for the images to be to be viewed in sort of a JPEG format so you can view it on a telephone or you can view it on the browser. Um, in this case, if you just go ahead and pull it up, we see that we have, we did Carter here, and uh, find the image, and it shows up in a regular JPEG format. So you can find that on a phone, on a mobile, any mobile device really, or even just a normal web browser cross-platform, doesn't matter. So you are, in theory then, saving this entire industry, how many billions of dollars of ultrasound machines? <laughs> Well, I don't know <laughs> the exact number, but it's going to be, it's not, it's not so much about the money, but it's about making it available to everyone in the world. Um, we're really bringing mobile ultrasound to the world, which is phenomenal, because I, the couple statistics say roughly two-thirds of the world's population is without this basic medical imaging equipment, and uh, it could really clear up a lot of problems with just simple diagnoses. So then in terms of hardware cost, even as a prototype, how much did this run? Yeah, well this one's actually made by Interson. When we first acquired it about a year ago, it was about 4000 Recently we've heard it's about $2,000, $2,500, which is, which is great um, compared Compa to... Yeah, compared to? Compared to something that's... The traditional big s systems in the, in the uh, hospitals today is $100,000, $150,000 or whatever. Wow. GE has come out with what they call the V-Scan, and it's a much smaller unit. kind of looks like a little cell phone. Um, that one costs anywhere between... 10,000 to 20,000, I believe, um, but it's limited because the storage is on an SD card. The battery lasts one hour, and you're kind of you're stuck in the device. So you weren't a finalist in, in this particular Imagine Cup. Are you guys going to be coming back next year? Are you guys giving up? You throwing in the towel? <laughs> well, that's the catch. Uh, we actually all graduate this year, um, kind of parting our ways. A lot of us have jobs. Uh, yeah, you can't scan bellies for a living, apparently. Uh, no, we can't. We can't. No, we're not. We're not radiologists. Well, but it seems that the project certainly has legs. Is anything going to happen? Sure. Um, the company Intrason, which you obtained the probe from, has actually shown some great interest in acquiring the client software that we have to to do the image acquisition and as well as the cloud portion. I mean, I, I can't imagine uh, then uh, you know, I guess anybody being able to pick this up. I mean, at that cost, I mean, relative to the cost of a, a traditional ultrasound machine, would uh, say uh, a hospital be able to get this right now? Uh, yes. Technically, yes, uh, it works. Everything functions. I'm sure there's plenty of improvements we can be, that could be made. Um, in doing some research and kind of some testing with the project, we talked with a radiologist from Utah, and he said that it would be wonderful. I mean, to have something that you could just do a quick triage on a patient with and tell, oh, he should go to OR or maybe do a further analysis on an X-ray or whatever. To just do that that quick, simple, super simple, and super easy.
So then when you talk about the cloud, where's this information being stored? Where's it being directed to? So yeah, the cloud's like this big, like, who knows what the heck is there sort of a thing. Ethereum, nobody really knows. Um, but what, what It's it going directly to someone's house. Yeah. What is this? This picture keeps showing up. Yeah, it's going straight to someone's house in Kabul. Who knows? No, not really. Uh, we use Microsoft Azure, uh, which basically uploads it to a server farm that Microsoft has, they maintain, and we get a small portion of that. And we happen to use, uh, we use three instances that run continuously that accept the files, index the files, and then present it in a web interface. Um, it's kind of a, yeah. You know, I've got a theory as to why you, you didn't make it to the final, and I'm sorry, because this is literally, I, I, I would have been happy to judge this, because uh, I think it's a disruptive technology, and I love that stuff. Uh, maybe it's because you didn't look too hard at the jelly, because and maybe if it was like a strawberry or grape flavored, you, you may have had a chance. Uh, yeah, I would have to definitely agree, you know, like a grape jelly, jam, jam or jelly, that's really a big question, isn't it? Yeah, and I think that was the, the, the thing that was kind of keeping you, I'm kidding, obviously. Is it too soon? No, it's fine. It's totally fine. Not gonna like. <laughs> we'll, we'll meet later. Good to know. So, a anything else you want to uh, say to the audience? Well, that's just about it. So, if you are hoping to have your own ultrasound at home, you may have to wait a while longer. Or, if you're someone who might be interested in seeing this project to fruition, how would they get a hold of you? Well, uh, you can find us either through the channels in Imagine Cup US or also at Brigham University. That's where we come from. Uh, find, come find us there. They can be found.